Jackson Heights, located in Queens, New York, was originally a farmland area. In 1909, developers Edward A. McDougall's Queensboro Corporation developed the area that is now known today as Jackson Heights. Jackson Heights was the nation's first and largest planned cooperative garden and apartment community. Jackson Heights was largely developed because of two movements occurring during the early 1900s. The first of these movements was the New York housing reform. As middle to upper classes were flocking out of New York City to raise families, Jackson Heights was developed primarily as a sanctuary for these people who were still actively working in Manhattan. In this way, Jackson Heights was marketed to professionals and the artistic community from its very inception. The second movement that influenced the development of Jackson Heights was the British Garden City movement at the beginning of the 1900s. Much of the architecture in Jackson Heights is heavily influenced by English architecture. The design for Jackson Heights was loosely based in the Garden City of Letchworth, England, but featured architecture designed by the developers involved. Today the architecture still stands and remains evident in all 80 blocks of the current Jackson Heights. While walking around Jackson Heights, it seemed that many people had different views of what art is. On Roosevelt Avenue, many people thought that art was things in museums such as fancy paintings. Some teenagers most readily considered street art to be the most relevant form of artwork in Jackson Heights. Jose, a young teenager we found on Roosevelt Avenue, believed that street art was the form of art that was most relevant in the Jackson Heights community. Jose's response did take some prompting, however. When we initially asked Jose what art was in Jackson Heights, he was hesitant to answer. He thought that we were talking about museums or paintings. When we told him that artwork is very broad and not just in buildings, he told us that street art was what he thought was influential in Jackson Heights. Jackson Heights today has an extremely diverse population. In fact, Jackson Heights is one of the most ethnically diverse towns in New York City. There are many different ethnic groups in Jackson Heights. Even though there are many different cultural communities represented in Jackson Heights, they seem to be somewhat separated. Certain areas of Jackson Heights are mostly Hispanic, while others are more mixed. Todo, 
Pues no, la, detalles en la tienda. Las tiendas comerciales se vuelven más modernas. Más personas circulando en las calles. Día año tras año que se puede se vuelve más la área de allá con Y todavía hay muchos hispanos o hay más gente americana o de diferentes partes. Ya con hay gente más hispana que americana. ¿Usted sabe de qué, de dónde vienen? Claro, aquí hay gente de Colombia, Ecuador, México, que es más, también salvadoreños, Guatemala, dominicanos, dominicanos, no mucho, pero hay poco acá. No hay de todo. ¿Usted americanos por aquí con qué viven o nomás para visitar? Yo he visto que viene americanos solamente a visitar. Y vivir por esta área americanos también. Más hispanos. Do you have any more questions? As he visited Espresso 77, the main goal of the manager and resident artist was to help spread artwork and provide a place where artwork could be spread to the general public. Like us, the manager noticed that the areas of Jackson Heights was highly segregated, even though it was ethnically diverse. Even though there may be very many ethnic groups in Jackson Heights, they typically do not intermingle with each other. We noticed that during our walk through Jackson Heights. Degree and I work for one company, Robert Stern Architect, for five years and then feel like I have to do something because this neighborhood something missing, you know. Mm -hmm. Because everybody ethnic people like Indian people like Indian store and Bangladesh open Bangladesh store, you know, Chinese open Chinese. I said how I learned from this country I came like, you know, to do something different because I like American culture. Mm -hmm. And I think we should bring all people together. Yeah. Because we have some country, but when you go some different ethnic place, they don't talk to you, or like you are different people, you know. So I thought my place should be, everybody should come, you know. Then I, I feel like how I do that, because one way I can bring it, coffee is a good cultural thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody drink coffee, have chocolate or anything, you know. So like drinkable and sit down place and friendly place. So I feel like I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna do this thing. Oh wow! That's and awesome. I honestly, everybody think I'm crazy because I quit my job, and I didn't find a place like uh, location-wise because rent is very high. So I feel like on a side street, I find it and I live on a side street, and it's like an ugly looking store. I, I changing a lot of design inside, and my my wife and I will design all things new, and everybody like wow, why is spend so much money? Like and so like. People gonna come one day. I know that, you know, because you have the idea. I didn't ever get failed, so I keep doing it. Fast two, three years is very hard for me, but people recognize slowly, slowly. Now it's busy, and I love to do it because I can introduce more artists to community. You know, this is the mm -hmm. first thing I did, and we call like Gallery 77, Espresso 77. Now also called Gallery 77. Every month we have a show, art show. Oh wow! Yeah. Do you mind if we take you more? Yes, sure. So every month do the art show. And every every month I do uh, every year I do show myself. And also bring more artists, you know, community artists, every artist, you know. Welcome any artist, you know. This is artist space. As a musician, we're playing music, you know, every Thursday, Friday and Saturday. All kind of open for art, you know, in the movie, someone wants to make a movie idea. I love it. It's like helping people, you know. Only I mean, only is not my place, it's for everybody's place. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a community place. Awesome. And how did you actually get into art? What, what did you do? Because I'm an artist too. So when you when you're an artist and if you bring your work to some gallery, some maybe it's not good enough or you know you have like you have no people, I get tired of it. So I can just do my show on my own. Also my brother is an artist, my nephew is an artist, all family is artists. I feel like how do I promote it to you know, and in community buying it now, so I really love it. I, I, I hope in the future we we'll like more doing that. Every business just bring it more art. You know? Just change. Also, if you, every month you come, it looks different. It's a different art. Yeah, that was one of the troubles that we had because we had come last week and we were having trouble finding 
artwork and asking people about it. And when we asked them, they didn't really know. They thought, oh, do you mean like a museum and things like that. So I think that's great what you're doing. Yeah. So it's people like knowledge, you know. Give, I give them more knowledge. Like, you know, every business can be art, hanging out and helping the artist. Because artist is different, like, you know, they think different way than other people. That's why you see, like, William Burroughs or any new neighborhood. Artists go cheap place because, you know, they can afford it. You know, they're artists, they know, like, but their idea is very big. You know, they're making how to make beautiful. You know? And when they make beautiful, they can afford it, that place, because mm -hmm. people take over, at least people take over. Yes. So that's another problem, too, you know. But art is always in it, you know. You know without art, you can do it. Even if you design it in a chair, you know, before you design a chair, okay? Definition of art. I know that you do paintings and whatnot, but what, do you, what else do you feel as art? Is handmade things or? Do you you see, art, art could be like, you know, I, I can see like, you know, artist, musician is artist too, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, writer is artist too. But my thing is like everybody different by thinking art, you know. Art is, I, I do like visual arts, like visual arts, movie, we'll be making movies of art. So visual arts I like it more because you can see and feel it, you know. Also, art is not like. Or you, know, you have to say something for people, you know, what is about it. Not like just like to draw a flower or, you know, cats or something. I love people. This art, art should be spoke to everybody. So what does your art say about so this, this message? Art, yeah. This is the message about, you know, if you see like all abstract, you see all of them here. Is like abstract. Mm -hmm. I'm studying like last. Yeah, with umbrella on it, like every, everybody holding umbrella, you can see the face. So I feel like, you know, everybody has to say something. When I see your face, I know who you are. Without, I see your face, kind of guessing, you know? So what's your mind working, or something like that. So we started that way, you know, umbrella one. This is also talking about, we are technology is so busy, you know, we are so busy, dependent with like phone and like computer, we cannot think in ourselves, so. Is 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 ourself is that we are like also kind of a robot, you know, mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's what thinking. Also in a some fun way. Yeah, also our dream became a like change. We used to be like we see the dream, you know, flying in sky or like yeah. grass and water. Now you can see the dream like your dream could be changed in a different way. Technology. Yes. Uh, do you have any more questions? No, anything else? No. Thank you so much. Thank we really you. appreciate this. If you guys need anything, just come by anytime. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. We'll definitely artists, spread the word. Over here. Uh, oh, oh, great! <laughs> Open for you guys, okay? All right. Anytime. For the manager of Sunul, art was creativity. Just like the street vendor and teenagers, art was a form of expression. In Jackson Heights specifically, artwork was entrenched in cultural undertones. In this way, culture and creativity was the most significant artwork present in Jackson Heights. In such a diverse place, the culture and creativity were the main sources of artwork that people cited. Cultural diversity and creativity is exactly what makes Jackson Heights unique, from its architecture, to street art, to vendors, to contemporary art.